Right, I'm in, in Huntington still. The weather's terrible. I got over here much, much later than I ever intended. I wanted to be over here by 10 in the morning. I never got here to nearly 3 because of the weather. I only just managed to get in the museum of Oliver Cromwell and had a really good chat with the people in there. Uh, someone shut the church, which should have been open with a shop and everything, really early. They'd shut that church. I was quite alarmed, really. It was only quarter to four, and they shut it already because of the weather, I think. This is called St Mary the Virgin. It's not the church that I wanted to go in. This one looks really empty of all its pews, um, all its furniture. It's either being done up or being made redundant. As you can see, there are an awful lot of um, graves in here. They're all propped up all around the, the graveyard, but they would have once, well, people would have been under the ground. They would have been propped up all over the place. They're very old, uh, very old indeed. Um, very, very old, some of these. It's a shame really, isn't it? People just haven't got the money or the time to preserve everything anymore. It's a shame because it is an era of gravestones. Um, you don't get them back in the 16th century or anything like that. This is like a whole couple of centuries worth of people's stones here. Um, you know, and they're, you you can see they're sort of Victorian with all the decoration on with the angels and the um, ribboning effects, you know, like whatever. They're very, they're very Victorian, yes, it's true, these particular ones. But it's like a whole load of them. So you've got the crossbones and the skull. Um, you've got the urns, very Victorian there with the decoration around it. That was a John Baker look. Some of them, are, you can still read them. This is a library on its own, you know, especially with family tree research becoming more popular. People will be looking for their ancestors in gravestones, just like I do. Not that I've got anyone I know from here. But it's a, it really does look an interesting church with beautiful stained glass windows inside. Um, it doesn't look like it's been open for a while. It's either been done up or done down. Um, you know, it's, it's up there. It's got 1918 or 30. Maybe the tower has been hurt a few times. You know. But I'm going to record it. I mean, it's unlikely that I'm just going to pop back to Huntington. You know, my tours around are getting fewer and fewer now. Um, I've got other places to do on other days, you see. But in there, it's empty, no pews. Um, I can't see as far as the altar, but the stained glass windows are quite visible in there. I can't actually see the altar. It's been emptied. Um, like I say, it's awful weather. It's difficult to video and photo in the rain. Um, there's one statue of Jesus. I mean, it might be turned into a drama or music centre or something. That's what. That's the only way to do it, is to preserve the building. If you can't have it for religious reasons, because religion is, as we know, is uh, not a fashion <laughs> at the moment. It's uh, on huge decline in this country. Um, no, because, well, it used to be a repressive force in the past. People don't want to be treated like that anymore. It was a repressive force. Very powerful in people's lives. Um, and over the centuries it gradually lost its power and influence and this is what's happening it's the end of the Victorian era and everything it stood for so I'm just doing a little video because there's a number of churches all over the country like this 
that are falling redundant, falling into disrepair. The um, churchyard is a good illustration. Obviously, someone comes in and cuts the grass. Um, a lot of the here's the altar end. Look, you can see some beautiful windows from the outside. I couldn't see that far up, but because I've come so late, um, everything is um, shut. Everything is shut. I can't even. I don't even know where the loos are or anything yet. <laughs> it's terrible. Doesn't take long. Only takes five, ten minutes to get here from St. Neot, so. So I'm having a look around the town. Back to where I started a minute ago. This side of the church. The tower definitely looks newer than, it says 1913 up there, than the rest of the building. But the other church is equally impressive up the other end, which I wanted to go in, right near the Cromwell Museum. But it's shut, they shut it so early. You know? They shut it way before four o'clock. So that's the end of that church by the look of it. It needs a lot of repair work. <sighs> right, over a note everyone. It's a lovely old porchway there, look as well. Seen a few weddings, funerals and baptisms, hasn't it? Right, over and out.